I started my career as a football player and basketball player at Ovala. Eddie Metter was born in Dallas, but moved with his family at a young age to Avalo, where he would begin his legendary football career. Metter went to school in Avalo before they consolidated with Tuscola to create South Taylor High School. Nine years later, it would be renamed Jim Ned High School. His family moved to Arkansas after his 10th grade school year. He went on to play college ball at Arkansas Tech before being drafted by the L.A. Rams as a defensive back in 1959. Dad was really proud of uh, being from Texas and being from a small town, as Ohio, Texas is. And Dad would take his fishing and hunting and kind of show us the country and the, and the land and the area that he grew up in. He knew exactly how to get to his old house. The house was built by his brother. Metter has come a long way since his times hopping barbed wire fences in West Texas. He now has four children, Mike, Mark, David, and Vicky. His first son, Mike, would go on to continue the trend of family athletes by winning 59 medals in the Special Olympics. There was a mountain called Bald Eagle Mountain. Mike just couldn't do it because of his disability. My dad used to carry him, carry me up on his shoulders. No telling how many times I've been up and down that mountain. I think that fearlessness and just that confidence and that go get it attitude is probably part of what his upbringing in West Texas forged in him. On paper, moving to Los Angeles would appear to be a significant challenge for Metter. Went on to L.A., a little old country boy like me, going to Los Angeles. That was a little bit a different story. We're walking down the tunnel of the Coliseum, and I look in the stands, and 90,000 people in a coliseum in Los Angeles and for an exhibition game. Instead, Metter thrived, leading to a 12-year career in which he racked up numerous awards, was a six-time pro bowler, and he still holds the record for most interceptions in Rams history with 46. To this day, he still signs autographs and memorabilia for all fans. It means a lot to know that he was so well-respected by everyone. We've had not Rams fans that will email him and tell him, I remember you, you hit hard and you ran fast. What dad has accomplished on the field is really special, but what he has done off the field is equally as special for us. He's God in cleats. I love friends and, uh, and the family and uh, I just don't know what I'd do without him. Reporting in Abilene with coverage you can count on at Dusty Baker, KTAB News.